This is the 2021 range of motorhomes from Foster. And this van, or this video I should say, is being made for those people who say they want to carry a lot of people in the motorhome. This vehicle, which is 699 centimeters long, has six sleeping places. Two in the cab over, the alcove as they say in German, I might start saying as well. Two at the table and two uh, in the bed at the back. This thing will cost 49,000 euros and uh, let's have, get a weight on this. You can put it up to 4.4 uh, tons. So uh, from three and a half to four. And if you've got um, six people in it, you will want to increase the weight. I don't have an empty weight there for you. But I would suspect it's a, a rat. I suspect it's over three tons. Anyway, so uh, the point of having a rear facing bench is is to make the bed. I've got to say, for the price of this, uh, it looks quite a decent van. Okay, it could do with a bit more air up here. Now I'm another window. Actually, there's six people in the van. It does get stuffy. In some vans that comes up, but not in this one. Maybe I'm expecting too much for the money. Lovely finish to it. The mixture of the the the, the white and the, the the wood effect. As you can hear, there's uh, hoovers going off, and uh, that shows you it's the beginning of the day, and people will be coming in here to see vehicles such as this one. So if this is six fat six person van. There might be six people in this, so I wouldn't have been able to get in. Uh, Fuse box. Oh, on the on the subject of not being able to get in because of these uh, these hygiene regulations, you can't go into vans. You're not supposed to go into vans where other people are already in. It's like in previous years, where I just go in anywhere if somebody was in, and uh, if was in a sort of a hurry. Now this year, I've been much more careful not to do that. Two burners. Two burners and six-person van. Is that okay? Look at that. So you could put three in here. I mean, normally I say that, you know, for me and people alone, I think normally two is sufficient anyway. I'll just make that point. Lovely windows. Very large fridge, so we've got city in there. You probably need a large fridge. Freezer at the top and the bit that comes out for your bottled stuff. Now, uh, there you go. Uh, because the ladder is here, uh, we can't get that door open there, but we'll see what that is when we go to the back. Now, in order to make more room for the toilet, the wet room, the mattress has been profiled accordingly. But, 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 oh, look at that. So the ladders, oh no, you can move the ladder down, so yeah. Ladder doesn't have to be there. You can put the ladder. Ladder. That'll go down there, and you know you can't open the uh, the fridge. Now, Foster, I think now is looking m much much better. I mean, it's, it, it is a it is a comparatively cheap brand, but it's got these lovely little touches to it, and uh, which sort of give out a sign uh, of quality. There's your combi gas. I'll have a look on the outside. Indeed, let's see if I can find another van of this type. And as I've been in here before, I know where to find it. Here's one as well. This one here comes at a cost of 
49,000. Oh, it's the same one though. 699 EB living up. Right, sorry. So, uh, we'll have a quick. Uh, oh, somebody's left the telephone here. This one here has got this German layout at the back. Right, seeing as there's a phone there, I'm not gonna walk in, just in case I forgot my way out. And we've got yet uh, another couple. And uh, so this one here is a, a little bit longer. Uh, sorry, it isn't, it's the same size. It's 699 D DVB living up, 53,750. Right, look at this. You know, really stacks of people in here. You, you can get about seven up there. Four in the beds here. Another three there. And another three there. Being a bit more serious, I think that's meant to be a double. Two, four, six. This is an eight person van. Same fridge, same kitchen. Wow. Well, that's a very big van. What we don't have here, though, is the weight. But I mean, at three and a half tons, you probably wouldn't get with eight people inside. Four thousand four hundred. 53,750 euros. Eight people in a seven person van. And the last van, if you look at these massive amounts of people inside, is what's interesting about this, it's got a rear entrance. It costs 51,500 and it can carry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people in a motorhome. This is sort of going back to the way it used to be in the old times. packing as many in as possible but it's you know, you've got five kids I suppose you one thing I very strongly suggest though if you've got a large family I mean this is for everybody but before buying spending fifty thousand euros on a van rent it rent it for i'd rent it several if i wouldn't buy it all i'd just rent because if you've got a family that big you probably have to go to work uh, uh normally and you're not gonna have much time to use it anyway so strongly suggest renting because of uh, and find out what it's like uh i i have I'd be afraid that of the arguments and the all sorts of other family problems that would arise. Okay, good. Right, so I'm going to show you the finish with this. But before I do so, I'm going to put some of this stuff here on. So, whoops, missed. That was a good shot, wasn't it? Oh dear, somebody's just messed up the uh, their uh, the carpet. I suppose I better get off this stand before they find out it was me. So, thanks very much for watching uh, this video and uh, if you got this far. Uh, there's, there's not many vans in Europe that can carry so many people. So this really is very uh, unusual. Thanks for watching and all the best from Dusseldorf.